Hey guys, I'm back this week for my little 4th of July happy birthday Cleo episode. Um, hi Cleo, that's one of my awesome, what I call my awesome Australian family. And she just turned 6 this week, so happy birthday girl. I'm sorry I didn't do this a couple days sooner. But what we're going to do today is something so super simple. Your only ingredient, milk. <laughs> um, it's actually just how to make your own frothy, froth milk, milk froth, in whatever order you want to say those words. Um, just a little bit of milk froth for your cappuccino. I saw it and I thought, hey, that looks fun. Let's try that. I've tried it a couple times and it turns out just fine. Although don't try to do it too long or forget about it because it will boil over. <laughs> so, okay, what we're going to start out with is your milk. You need to use, oh, I'm sorry, I have cats and I was just brushing them so my nose is super itchy. Um, you need to use 2% or non-fat. Normally, I am never one to say 2% or non-fat. I am whole milk, straight out of the tank, all the way. But for this, you need this because it's the whey proteins. And if I look like I'm looking over here because it's come as I'm reading this because there's no way I could memorize it. Uh, it's because the whey proteins are critical stabilizers for the froth. And um, when... The 2% non-fat, that's what they re-fortify it with added, those added proteins and everything. Tried it with the whole milk and everything like that. You maybe get a couple tiny little bubbles. Nothing much at all. So, weird as it sounds, 2% or non-fat. So, get your tiny little bottle here. Get You need a glass jar, uh, just a glass jam jar, and a microwavable lid. Just a little plastic lid. So, you're, what you're going to do is you're going to fill your jar here with as much milk as you want to put in your coffee. Um, don't put it past halfway because you need room for the foam to grow. So you're just going to pour in as much milk as you would use in your coffee. I'm using probably a little more than normal people would use, but that I want to give you guys a good visual. So you're going to screw your lid on there tight, and you're just going to sit here for a minute and just shaky, 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 hard as you can because you want this to completely foam up. Oh, let me um get my microwave ready while I'm foaming. Um, I love my little red microwave. It's so fun. What's up, Rose? Another one of my cats is like, what are you doing? <laughs> she doesn't always come out. She's my shy one. But yeah, you're going to do this for like a minute, minute or so, because you want it, see, you fill it up to here. You want it to go about double in its height for foam. And as soon as you're done, you're going to want your microwave open to whip this in here because you're going to microwave it with the lid on for 30 seconds. Then you're going to take the lid off, microwave it for another 30 seconds uncovered, and uh, have your drink ready. Have it set in there because then you can, oh, I'll get a spoon while we're microwaving it. Guess who forgot a spoon? Seems like I forget something every episode. First one, it's pot holders. Now we got the foam or the spoon for the foam. <laughs> okay. So it's been like a minute or so. You can see it has doubled in its size. So I'm going to make a lot of loud noises and microwave this for 30 seconds while I slide over here and get a spoon. Oop. You hear me ooching and ouching it's I just tweaked my hip and back this week. So we're good. We're good. <laughs> I'm good while I'm up, good while I'm down. Just the process of either tweaks it out a little bit. So, stand it ready with your sonic spoon. It's okay if you don't have a sonic spoon. I do just because it's fun. Okay, so, first 30 seconds are over. Bring it out. You can see some of the foams. The foam is still there. Nice big bubbles. Uh, once this is done, you're going to want to get it right in your drink and enjoy it because as much as this microwaving process here does stabilize it a little bit it, it's foam it's gonna sink out after a while so have your drink at the ready I've got a mocha going on tonight <laughs> thanks Emily Cleo and Zav yeah okay Careful, your jar is probably going to be a little hot, but look, you foamed your own milk. So you can use your spoon. Get on in there. Look at your foam. 
There's more than that in there. I just wanted to show it. You just top your coffee with your own little fun foam. And you just foamed your own. And you got milk in there that you can add to your coffee too if you want. I didn't make a ton of foam just because I don't always put a lot of milk in my coffee or... But there you go. We even add some fun to the taste and everything, but... You, I didn't add too much milk into this so I can't tip it for you to see, but I'll get a good picture for my cover photo. Mm. But, yep. <laughs> I know what we'll do. Take you guys on a little trip here. You can see you've got some awesome foam in your coffee. Sorry about that. Well, I hope everybody has a good 4th of July weekend. Try your own foam for your coffee. Shoot me some ideas. I'm always looking for more because 160 some episodes in and you know I always need new ideas. So have a happy 4th. Set out milking cookies for Cap tonight because it is the 3rd today. And Cleo, I hope you had an amazing birthday and I will meet you guys someday. See you guys. Thank you.